we could try and run across that awning, maybe. And then there was also... Like, the pathway, like, across the street. If you have Momo in the lead, and the op the optional boss is across the awning. I have to have Momo in the lead. Huh? Oh, and there's this too. I haven't even been using Momo for a little bit. Oh, there's the code. October 28th. 10, 1, 0, 2, 8. All right. See, we found it. We would have we would have figured it out without, you know, brute forcing it eventually. <laughs> if I find the last, oh, jeez. See, if I find the last, oh, there's a thing up here. Number one. Oh man. All right, we have to get that later, I guess. If I find like the last villager or whatever, is that like in this area, or will I still be able to um do the optional boss, or could I do the optional boss later in the Encephalon or whatever? If I miss it, I mean, yeah. Okay, I can see the door here. Okay, so that's where we got to get to. And you say we need Momo in the lead. That's the only point of this area is to show you that door. Really? Nothing else here? All right. Oh, I can see someone's head poking out behind that dumpster. Once, let me go see what this looks like. The fastest way might be able to just jump off. Let's go check out this optional boss. Oh no, we should save before we do the optional boss. Alright, can we get in here? Locked from the inside. Huh. There's a person hiding in there, but I don't know how to get them out. Maybe if I kill this guy. Okay, here we go. Ready? Angel blow. You guys are dropping tech upgrades too, which is nice. Walking inside. How do you get this person out of here? Hmm. Interesting. and save and then try and get in there with Momo I guess there's a 
a lot of things that you have to have Momo at the head of the party. What's that about? <laughs> haven't had anything like that for anybody else, have we? I guess we'll get rid of chaos for now. Clear the lead to right, you said. Okay. There's another optional fight that requires junior, but for the most part, no. Yeah. Interesting. probably some more stuff from the roof too like the roof like you you can't really go up you can only slide down so like kind of like this here i think so i think we have to be careful about how we move across the roof always steal from bosses i try to what the hell okay she looks cool Mintia. Oh, magic girl on magic girl fight. <laughs> Will you fight? Yes. I'm gonna try hard for everyone. But before we begin, I have one rule. No big mechanical beast thing that you use. I don't like those, so you can't use them. <laughs> okay. I don't use them anyways. She hits hard. Okay. Interesting. I need to heal everybody. How often can she hit for 300 plus damage? Alright. How much do you do? Not as much as I'd like. She hates men. Do a, oh my god. Alright, and it poisons too. So I put star cannon on there. I took off her steel. Dang it. She still has it. It's just not a high tech anymore, right? Hmm. I need a feeling we're not going to win the first time anyways. All female party for this fight? Okay. Hey, this. 
Just brute force it with Junior. Yeah, Junior's my best damage dealer normally. He's doing okay even with... Oh my god! Was that poison just taking off half my health? Okay. This is rough. Transformation is not all either. Yeah, alright. I'm kind of fine with him dying. With that in mind. Safety level might help. Oh, that's a good idea. He can't use his abilities at all? What? I'll let him die. I'll bring him back. Give me an item. Penguin rod. She's summoning? Drain the life of this wretched man. He has 75 hit points. Mm. <laughs> like, she dropped him to one, but then the poison will finish him probably. No, okay. I'm fine with that. I'm gonna whittle her down. Attack poison, not actual poison. Uh, okay. It won't let him attack. <laughs> That's the annoying part. I'd be fine with him dying if he, if he could actually attack someone. That's fine. Her hit points, we should be able to, right? Oh, okay. She has 7,000 hit points. Okay. Um, what does this do? Not very much. All right, we need to let Junior do the damage. That's fine. He still can't attack. 
Why can't he attack her? He doesn't have any status effect on him. Did you run out of ammo or something? That hasn't happened all game. Is it gonna happen right now? Oh, did he get pushed to the back row? Oh, he did. I didn't even notice that. Get your back. And she goes fast. Kill him for it, but that's fine. Do more damage with the initial hit than the storm waltz. Yeah, two turns in a row here. This is really bad. This is a hard fight. And that just drops him to one, which is actually fine for Junior. At least they're using that safety thing. She's disabling her circle, that's fine. That's fine. Um What do you have here? Sleep, probably not gonna work. Prayer, not right now. You can heal, right. Heal yourself. She only has enough VP for right now. She has the thing that makes her only use half VP to cast, so she's got like 15 heals left. Just don't attack Junior. Don't attack Junior. Just don't attack Junior. <laughs> Okay. Doesn't do any damage to him because he's already at one, I guess. It's like a percentage based attack or something. Alright. What's she gonna do when I'm already at one and I attack her? And he's got a boost, that's great. Doesn't look like you lose boost when you die, maybe you do, I'm not sure. Will it just do zero damage to him? That's my question here. Yes, it will. <laughs> Good. Do it again. We got this. As long as she doesn't pull some other move out of her butt. But she could. Alright, come on, whose turn's next? I hate sometimes, I hate when like, it's the last person on the turn list and you can't see who's coming after it. it like, it's like, ah, I don't know what's gonna happen. Alright. I'm just gonna have these two focus on healing. all they need to do. Make sure that one of them is already always alive. That, that is their goal in life right now. And, and grant him boosts. But she can use him either. Oh, we're getting some damage in now. Oh, 
she keeps using that move. It's not that's beautiful. I could do a six AP attack. Nah, I don't need to. It might do slightly more damage. That, that's fine. It, it'll be one extra triangle attack in there. Okay, I can heal off of that one. Okay, she's down to 3,200. Junior's turn a lot. Question is, can we kill her on the right turn? That might be a little harder to engineer. Okay, we need to watch this. Oh, we knocked her back. It's not horrible. It's boosting after him. It could kill one of the girls. I, my, my big fear is an AoE attack that just wipes out the whole party. As much as I want to take an attack with Junior right now, we should probably heal Shion. Just to be safe. Son of a bitch. Wasted his boost too, because he's gonna be dead. That's unfortunate. You don't lose your boost when you die, but you lose the one that you've already used. Dude, this is why we healed Shion. She getting another turn? Okay, no. Yeah, I know I can use a healing item for the whole party. I didn't want to. <laughs> I probably should have. Oh my god, he's keeps, she just keeps getting turns now. I was trying to keep Junior down at like no health, basically, because he has more damage that way. Okay. getting Junior up. I need to get... Okay, here we go. Now what's she gonna do? That should be fine. Yeah. Alright. Back on track. To get some ether into Xion soonish. Uh, I don't put him in the rear. It kills him too. The rear is the worst part. <laughs> the rear is just annoying. 
a waste of turn putting them back in the front. Maybe I should stick... If I get a turn, I can stick Momo behind him so she can't push him back anymore. I'm not going to get a turn. item that'll also only use three AP oh, come on leave him alone Not good. I can revive all day I really can This is fine. This won't kill them. This won't kill them. This is quite the little optional boss here. Okay. Okay. He's throwing item. He's throwing item. Oh well. It's fine. I gotta rinse him again. Kill him here. Literally. Here. Gotta get him back in the front row still too, but he hasn't had a turn. I have to like cast boost on him just to get him a turn. Let's do this. Here. Okay, it's fine. Here we go. All right. Now, let's give him a boost. in front of Momo. That poison won't hurt her unless she attacks, right? But as long as she's just casting, she's fine. This is just gonna be her taking his health down to one, that's fine. They actually kinda want his health at one because she's gonna do this every time I attack him. This way she doesn't heal off my damage. Just don't attack him again, come on. Okay, attacking her is fine. That's what we want. Okay. Now you, we want to boost him again and immediately boost. We can do this.
Okay. She'll do this move, but it won't heal her this time. And he can boost right after it. Almost in killing range. This shouldn't kill her, but it's gonna come close. She's down in the three digits. Oh, there's another item I can steal? Is that what you're saying? Uh, we stole one item from her. We stole a penguin rod. Oh, I gotta steal again? I was so ready to just win. <laughs> I was like, we've got it. Uh, Junior only steals the normal item, but Momo can steal the rare one. I don't know that Momo has her um, thing equipped to steal. Plus she's in the back row. It's just not happening, guys. We're gonna have to use an item here. Oh, we don't have we don't have six AP. We're gonna have to heal one person. It's gonna have to be Shion. All right, that's Dark Snake's fine. It's less fine when it does that much damage. Okay. 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 Okay, she has 1,100 hit points. Theoretically, if I boost Junior, he'll go and do an attack. She'll boost after him to do the follow-up attack, and he can boost on her boost to get the finishing attack. I believe. <laughs> We're at really low health here. So, I think this will work. Because Junior's next, so Junior's gonna get an attack. His attack is gonna trigger her to have an attack, and he can boost off of that attack to get another attack. Right? And her attack's not gonna do any damage because it's gonna be the one that drops into one HP. Oh, we beat him anyways. Times four even, we even got the times four. Dang, that was embarrassing. I wasn't even paying attention to that anymore. We actually got the uh, point mod multiplier. Oh, but Momo was dead. Oh, we messed that up. Momo was dead. Hmm, that hurts, but I mean, it, it had, uh, who are you? You haven't been using Momo anyways, but. 400 TP on Shion. Also, both of them leveled up. 11,000 experience. Partially because they said because they didn't have to share it with Momo, huh? <laughs> Ooh, that was a fight. Ooh, Mystic Nocturne. New attack. I hate to admit it, but I lost. All right, I'll give you this. Learn Tech Attack Dark Scepter. That works pretty well against Gnosis if you know how to use it. Next time I'll bring in my number one pet. Let's play again, Momo. We're gonna fight her again? So she's like a random magic girl enemy that shows up and teaches Momo a new attack? <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm with it, I support this. Dark Scepter turns Gnosis types into items if used to defeat them. What? Okay. Okay. Do you have... It doesn't say it can only be used when transformed. So, that's cool.
Momo is a farming goddess. I'm starting to get that impression, yeah. That was a pretty cool little boss fight. All the points we got, too. We can't evolve that, alright. Just as quick, quick as two. Mm. I don't know. It's a hard... We need to get rid of, like, our steel. I like that though. Other people they can steal. Oh, I don't quite have enough. Alright. Poor Momo. She didn't get any points though. She's getting booted from the party. <laughs> Next now. Momo's magical girl adventure is entirely separate to everyone else's adventure. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. There's no other reason to come here. So if I came here without Momo and the leader of the party, we just would have gotten to a dead end, basically. That's interesting. I guess that's your hint that you didn't do something right. save after that for sure and it's 1 a.m oh man all right so we're gonna stop here for tonight it's kind of a nice place to stop i guess we just had the big battle so thanks for watching everybody we'll be back on tomorrow night just like we are every other night um 8 p.m eastern with more xenosaga thanks for watching everybody Thanks um, for the follows, for the, the new followers we have. Thanks again to Thuderek for the subscription. Big thanks on that one. And I uh, hope you guys all come back next time for more Xenosaga. We're going to keep playing through all of these. Xenosaga 1, 2, 3, and then we still need to do Xenoblade Chronicles X before we move on, before we move on to a new series. And if you want to have some say in what the new series is, hit up the poll down below and put it in the chat. We are getting, we are you know, gauging interest on in what everybody wants. Right now, the poll is still Lunar is winning, although Breath of Fire is catching up to it, strangely enough. I didn't see that one coming, but there it is. Um, Lunar and Breath of Fire, huh? All right. I'm, I'm willing to play any of them. That's why they're on the list. So, <laughs> Nightbot's like, I'll say it again. Yeah, okay, you go for it, Nightbot. Um, anyways. And if you like the stream and you're a follower and you want to join the conversation when we're not in this channel, 
we got a Discord down below as well. So hit up the Discord, and um, we're we're talking in there every day. So you know, that's also fun. Anyways, thanks for watching, everybody. Um, let's uh, let's read on over to someone else that's playing Xeno something. Yeah. Let's see. Who's on tonight? I'm the only Xenosaga episode one stringer tonight, huh? Don't know those guys. Here's someone playing Xeno Gears. Let's go say hi to him. That sounds fun. So, yeah. See you tomorrow night, guys. Say hi to the Xeno Gears crowd. <laughs> See you next time.